this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. So, where's the police in the New York City subway system? They are having crime galore in New York City on those subway trains. And I'm not embarrassed to say that they had it coming. They really had it coming. Let me tell you, years ago, when I lived in New York City, just out of college, really just a kid myself, I used to ride the New York City subway. Um, I would ride to the Bronx and back downtown and different parts of the city because I didn't have a car. One day I was going to work and these middle school boys, young black boys, were coming into the subway station just playing, you know, seemed like they was just having a good time, janking and talking to each other. And they were getting ready to go through the turnstile and one of them couldn't find his token. And the police, I mean, it's like three or four of them just came over and surrounded him and started talking and screaming at him, you know, and the child was getting nervous and the other kids were getting nervous. Well, I stepped in just to give him a token. And the kid was very upset because it was just a matter of him not being able to get his token. And the way they, the way they surrounded him and intimidated him, it just made him nervous. So I gave him a token and I put the token in a turnstile and I said, come on through. And he was so upset that he was shaking. And I said, try to calm down and don't go to school angry. So I walked with them until they got to their train. And that has stayed with me the way those police officers treated those kids. Just like they did those Central Park young men. Just harassing and intimidating young black kids for no reason. So now they've got their hands full in New York City with all of those immigrants, illegal immigrants, criminals, people just doing any and everything, vandalizing the stores and the stations and stealing and just doing all kinds of things. And they don't know what to do. So now where is the police? Where is the police? You see, what goes around comes around. Now, they don't want to police what's going on down there now. They want to police innocent black kids and people who are not breaking the law. But they don't want to go down there in the dungeon that it has become now. So I saw this article and I said, okay, well, good for them. Now they've got something to police. And this is from Forbes Business News. And it says, New York City subway violence. Violence. Here's what caused a new National Guard crackdown. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now they got to bring in the National Guard? What about the NYPD? What about those badasses? Oh, they're somewhere hiding. They're retiring. They're quitting. Because, you know, <laughs> It's gotten rough out there. Now it's really time to do some police work. Now they're calling in the National Guard. So, New York Governor Kathy Hochul announced a plan to rid our subways of people who commit crimes Wednesday, in part by placing 750 National Guard members and 250 MTA, I guess that's the subway people, officers, and state police in the subway stations in response to the increase in violent crime in the New York City subway system in recent months, including three killings. So see, in all of this, I'm trying to see, where did they say the NYPD was going to be involved? Oh, no, they said the National Guard and MTA officers, that's transit, metropolitan transit officers, or something like that, and the state police. But it's the NYPD that has been harassing people and intimidating people in New York. Now, they're nowhere to be found. Now, somebody else has got to come in and do their job, all because they have treated innocent people like criminals. And then when the real criminals show up, they don't know what to do, so they run and hide. 
And then they've got all those migrants running all over the city, running amok, doing who knows what, whenever. And so now, the chickens always come home to roost. And the New York City Police Department is being shown for the, I don't know what y'all fill in the blank, that they are. I do feel bad for the citizens of New York City. But I don't feel bad for the NYPD. They need to be shown up for who they are because they have a history of harassing, of intimidating, and just bothering people for no particular reason. So, now, the National Guard has to pick up their slack. All right, y'all, let me know what you think about this, especially if you live in New York. Thank you for listening and have a good evening.